Well, hello, my lovely, beautiful, and handsome Sagittarius. This is Midas Touch. I hope that all is well with you. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much. I would greatly appreciate it. Keep in mind that this is just a general message, so not everything will resonate. Take what resonate, leave what does not, and let us begin. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, what's the energy that surrounds Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of November the 11th of 2024? Please speak through me and through the cards for the viewers. Please also protect me and the viewers from all harm. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's get into it, Sagittarius. My lovely babies or my lovely uh, adults, because I know some of you are not babies. Um, so I feel like I spoke about this um, in a older reading for you guys. There is someone that wants some sort of exclusivity with you. <laughs> like they want to go out and about with you. They want to be able to profess their love to you, to the world. They want to be able to say, you know, she is mine or he is mine's. And they want you to not be afraid to uh, profess your love to them, to the world. Like they want to make it official with you. Now, this part of the reading is going to pertain to someone whose heart is open. Some of you guys, your heart is not really open for love or relationship. That's the least of you, the least of your worries. However, I am picking up to tell someone, you may feel that this person plays a lot of mind games because the mind game card came out. And I'm feeling to tell someone, this person, whoever they are, due to your past trauma, even if they meant well, you wouldn't be able to receive them at this time, even if they meant well for those of you that are single, because you have truly been through hell and back. So even if this person says something where it's out of innocence, due to your past trauma, your childhood wounds, you'll automatically shut them down because it's like, man, here I go again. Please don't tell me this is the same person in a different body. Now, for others of you, whoever this person is, they are going to be um, very impressed of how you're able to see right through them, of how you're able to shut them down if they were trying to manipulate you or try to gaslight you something about you that's going to turn them on they love the snappiness that you have like I don't know if you guys ever had people that tell you they get turned on when you go off on them and I always feel that's a bit of a um I don't know if I could say that's a bit of an oxymoron because how the hell are you getting turned on by someone cussing you out? Like someone, it gets them hard <laughs> and I'm trying to keep it PG, even though we are adults, but it gets them hard or it gets them turned on when you go off on them. It's like, yeah, go off on me. Yes. Oh yeah. Cuss me out. Yeah. Oh, what the hell is wrong with this person? <laughs> but, um, the good things for those of you that's not focused on love, or even if you are focusing on love, but you're just not fully open to love at this time, you guys have a very auspicious energy that surrounds you, which is something that I, and I believe I've said this in the past, something that was given to you at birth because you guys draw people in without really trying, like, it's so easy for you to walk into a room and you be the elephant in the room. Like people are captivated by you. You are what I would call the spell. Even if you don't do a spell to have people captivated by you, like you naturally are magnetic. You naturally draw people in and you have the viral card, which is a card about instant fame. Like, 
gaining popularity. There's something that you're going to do. It's going to have people clicking, 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 clicking. And when I say clicking, I'm talking about liking your page, liking your videos, posting comments, or going back and saying, wow, he did say that. Wow, she did say that. She honestly said it and it came to pass. Oh, I remember when she told us this, or oh, I remember when she said she was going to do this. Like, it's just a very auspicious energy that has people saying, wow, she or he that is this particular Sagittarius is really about what they said they were about. Mm. I do feel to tell some of you guys to start saving up or that you may need to budget more because you have the penny pitching card penny pension card and some of you may need to budget more due to the fact that you're having a lot of issues around the home or you're having to fix things or you're going to possibly be um fixing things mm. okay let's see some other energies that i could um pull for you for this week I'm going to take another deck of cards out for my lovely, beautiful, and handsome Sagittarius. Let me see these cards. I like using them from time to time. You know what? Let me just, um, let me knock on the cards. Because <laughs> I'm like, well, they're kind of sticky. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, please give me some extra messages for the week of November the 11th of 2024 of the energy that surrounds Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. Mm, the Six of Cups, the Hang Wand card, the Devil card, the Two of Pentacles, and the High Priestess card. So with the Six of Cups card, as far as the energy that surrounds you for the week of November the 11th, I do feel this week you guys are going to be um, in a good mood for some of you guys. Some of you guys are going to be reminiscing on some sort of memories that you had in the past. These are good memories. It could be something as simple of you see an old photo of you and a particular relative and your mind goes back to that time or place. And I am picking up on someone, you know, talking to a group of people and saying, remember when we used to do this? Oh, remember back in the days there used to be this particular candy or there used to be this particular spot that we all used to hang out? Because I'm getting a very reminiscing energy, a very nostalgic energy that you guys will be having this week. Now, someone... <laughs> is going to be in their head a lot this week. Someone is, um, they're doing their very best, and this is pertaining to you. They're doing their very best to let something go, to let some sort of trauma go, but it really has some sort of stronghold on you because you're always in your head as to why did I even deserve this? Now, for someone else, you're going to be forced to accept something for what it is and just to let it go. It's, it's going to be one of those, I'm going to charge it to the game. Like, yes, it wasn't my fault that I got treated this way. Yes, I did not deserve it, but I have to let it go because this is robbing me of my inner peace. And speaking of inner peace, the devil card came out in your reading, which is a card about an addiction, obsessive thoughts and fears. So I feel someone is going to be weighing their options with the two of Pinnacles card, and they're going to make the choice to completely dead whatever this is. For someone, this could be you battling an addiction, but it doesn't have to be. For someone, I don't know who this is for, but there is someone that knows that, you know, they need to go on a diet, but they're like, man, I like to eat my burgers. Like, I don't want to be skinny, but the doctor keep telling me that I need to do this or that. And for someone else, it's more of you trying to, trying to, because this is, 
it's telling me to go back to your budgeting. So this is more of you trying to find a balance between your spending. Like it's so easy for you to spend so much. And some of the stuff that you spend money on, it's necessities, but you're going to find yourself researching ways on how to get more bang for your buck, to, to get more product for um, a certain amount of money, not having to spend as much. Because I'm feeling someone is going to be finding ways to allocate their resources. And I'm not sure how that would make sense to someone or allocate their budget. Hmm. Yeah. So going back to being your, in your head, you have the High Priestess card. So this is a card all about your intuition. So yes, something is going to come to you this week on how to um, maneuver through this situation. For someone is regarding you uh, letting go of something that has a stronghold on you. Now, I don't know who this is for. Something happened in your childhood and it was very, very, very dark. It was very dark. And even though you are an adult, it's like, even as an adult, you're fighting for your younger self still. And I'm trying my best to make this message make sense to someone. It's like as an adult, you are very relentless. Like you'll bite someone's heads off because of what you went through as a child of not feeling that you were heard. Oh, and I'm, I'm I, every time I get messages like this, I just want to give someone a big hug. If that is you that's watching my reading, you, you know that you did not deserve that. And you know, at this time in your life, I pray that you find the peace that you truly need. Yeah, because this was not fair at all. So, you know, I don't want to get too emotional. So I'm going to have to stop this reading right here. Take what resonates, leave what does not. And I would greatly appreciate it if you can hit the like or subscribe button. You guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.